go to Somalia now, where the country's new president, Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo, has appointed a prime minister. Farmajo tapped Somali-born Norwegian national Hassan Ali Kaire early on Thursday. And this came just before he departed to Saudi Arabia for his first foreign trip since his inauguration on Wednesday. The political newcomer is a former executive of the British energy explorer Soma Oil and Gas. He also served as the Horn of Africa regional chief for the Norwegian Refugee Council aid group. That was between 2011 and 2014. His appointment now awaits the parliament's approval. The president's choice, though, appears hinged on balancing clan interests in Somalia. Kaire is a member of the Highway clan, while Farmajo is from the Darod clan. Well, for more on this now, we're joined live from Mogadishu by CGTN's Abdulaziz Bilo. Abdulaziz, tell us more about uh, this man, Hassan Kaire, and why he is the president's choice. Well, Lindy, very little is known of uh, this new political uh, newcomer who uh, just appoint was appointed uh, by President uh, Farmajo as the country was still in celebratory mood, uh, celebrating the inauguration of uh, Somalia's ninth president, Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo. Well, experts here are saying that this is a repeat of history. Uh, we remember in 2010, uh, the then president, uh, Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, uh, announced uh, the current president, Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo, as his pick uh, for uh, the position of uh, prime minister. And experts who are raising questions about his inability to deliver and uh, the questions about his, uh, uh, his, the position he was uh, going to take. But then again, according to experts, uh, Farmajo proved to be an ideal prime minister then. So it's more of a reverse of what's happening right now. The president uh, appointed Hassan Khaire as his uh, or, uh, position as his uh, nominee rather for the position of uh, prime minister he awaits a parliamentary approval he was uh, the former director of the soma oil and gas a british company that's uh, going to start uh, the dr exercise of uh, searching for oil and gas here in the so in somalia and uh, he he, he, w he had better days he had his education in uh, norway and uh, the united kingdom before he came back uh, to africa where he started uh, his uh, career as a humanitarian worker he worked with the Norwegian Refugee Council before he moved to Soma Oil and Gas. So he's an experienced businessman. And uh, according uh, to President uh, Farmajo, before he left for Saudi Arabia, he said that uh, he has confidence in uh, Hassan al Qaire as his prime minister. And he called on parliament to approve his endorsement, uh, saying that it's time to deliver for the Somali people. Lindy. And as you say, of course, the president is confident in his choice, but will parliament agree? Is there any reason to think that parliament might uh, pose any hurdles um, on this appointment? Well, Lindy, in the past, uh, if, we, if we look at the history of Somali parliament and the president and the appointment of prime minister, there's been no prime minister who has failed to be uh, endorsed by the federal parliament. So uh, before Farmajo departed, for Saudi Arabia, he said he called on Parliament to endorse his candidate, saying that he sees him as a visionary leader and a leader who can fulfill on uh, the campaign pledges President Farmajo made to the Somali public during his campaign. So definitely, uh, Hassan Al Qaeda will have to go to Parliament and will have to be approved by a 275 member Parliament as well as a 54 uh, member Senate. Both uh, houses, 329 members will have to approve him. So definitely he has the support of the president and it's the same members of parliament who voted in Farmajo who are tasked with endorsing Hassan al Qaire. So definitely uh, the president is saying that he wants uh, the members of parliament to have the confidence they had in him so that they can endorse his pick for prime minister. And Abdulaziz, of course, let's talk about the president's first foreign visit. He is going to Saudi Arabia. Interesting first choice. Well, quite interesting, and uh, especially uh, in a few minutes ago before we came to this live cross on his uh, official Twitter account, President Farmajo, who uh, arrived a few hours ago in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, said that he went there for specifically four reasons. One, to discuss with Saudi authorities how uh, the uh, Arab Kingdom can support him in his bid uh, to stabilize the country in terms of building a strong and a formidable security force so that it can be able to help Amisom in uh, liberating other parts of the country that remain under the militant uh, control. And also, he talked about uh, development projects. He hopes this uh, government will help his administration uh, fulfill some of his campaign pledges 
of creating job or uh, employment opportunities here by creating development projects here in other country. And on uh, top of it all, he went there at a crucial time, uh, just one day after his inauguration, where the African leaders who met here in uh, uh, Somalia, uh, that's the president of Kenya and the prime minister of Ethiopia, as well as the president of Djibouti. These are three countries, uh, four countries rather, that are safe, uh, facing a severe drought. And the president said he is in Saudi Arabia to talk with Saudi authorities on how best to help address the humanitarian crisis here in Somalia before it unfolds into becoming a famine. So those are the four top priorities, and it's quite an interesting uh, choice for the first visit of Somalia. It's an official uh, head of state uh, visit, and he will spend a couple of days there, Lindy. And we will be watching to see what emerges from this visit. Thanks for those updates. Abdulaziz Bilo, live for us there in Mogadishu.